Hi and welcome. Here we have a um, desktop HP PC. The exact model is turn around. So it's tip PC F123 MT. So <clears throat> the, issue, the issue with this PC was very intriguing we come to this part now and I assume that this will be the problems see the output capacitors are blown and we're gonna need to replace them and we're gonna check this is gonna resolve our issue so the PC come with an issue that it was shutting off Uh, after opening the PC there was uh, pretty much dust inside so after that I cleaning all the contacts of the RAM, the cleaning the PC, the CPU, Tesla Tesla, the computer again would continue with the same issue but trying to recovery didn't help and after that we download uh, make a bootable we make a bootable Windows 10 drive USB drive trying to reinstall it but after, during the install the PC begin to shut off so after that this is the solid this drive sits right over there on the motherboard we replace that with uh, SATA hard drive but again the same issue so we're gonna we uh, continue with the testing and we came up to this so uh, we're gonna try to replace the capacitors and we're gonna check if this gonna fix the issue so let me see these are 220 microfarads 16 volts let me see yes all three are the same capacity and voltage so I'm gonna place them all with the new ones we hope this is gonna resolve the issue otherwise we gonna not gonna do I don't know what to do next I hope this will fix the issue so after this placing the press capacitors we are gonna try to get the SSD drive inside and um, trying to reinstall the Windows 10 again and see what happens welcome again so here we have replaced the capacitors these are the brand new capacitors here are the old ones so just point old ones was let's zoom this the old capacitors was 16 volt the new ones are 25 volts which is better it can outstand higher voltage this means <coughs> uh, that uh, the heat dissipation on these capacitors will be lower so it will sh theoretically this should be last longer than the originals so now we only need to assemble it and uh, make the test so we hope everything works as it should so here is the final result so computer is running everything is okay now so 
we figure out that the main issue is the power supply so I'm gonna try to zoom in here to see the model of the power supply so maybe someone couldn't replace it by self you can order uh, online or from electronic store and change it completely probably this is gonna fix the issue so the power supply probably was not uh, giving the stable voltage for the motherboard so as you can see there are there are only these two connectors that are going <coughs> from power supply to motherboard and after that so we can see there are only yellow and the black wire the black wires are the ground grounding and the yellow wires are usually the 12 volt so probably the this is this, the power supply system is designed on a way that there are some, there are some uh, controllers on the motherboard itself that are providing the other voltages needed for other for the RAM or CPU etc to run anyway we figure out the issue of uh, uh, shutting off the computer the strangest, the strangest thing was that uh, uh, the computer shuts itself on the moment when the windows was uh, was lo after the windows windows is loading the files on the moment when begin to load the drivers itself so i first assumed that is something wrong with the ram but after testing the ram uh, at stress and tests on the motherboard and the processor and everything and after everything seems okay then I opened it the uh, sorry I tried to add the graphic card and when I tried to add the graphic card uh, the computer didn't start at all and then I began to assume that this uh, something issue there's some issue with the power supply because the additional graphic cards needed more power to run and uh, this PC with the bad capacitors was not able to provide and after that I removed the graphic card, opened the power supply and noticed that the capacitors were damaged so after replacing the capacitors I reinserted the SSD drive as you can see there I remove my hard drive that was added for testing so I reinstalled the Windows 10 operating system and everything was working perfect so thanks for watching I hope this video will help you as you can see there was uh, lots of uh, posts on reddit on other social networks that was complaining about these issues so i hope this video will help you manage your problems thank you and have a great day